Joseph found himself in a tight spot. He wasn't sure which way to turn, didn't know what to think or do. He loved Mary, but she was pregnant and the baby wasn't his. He was a righteous man with high regard for the law, but he didn't want Mary to be judged and held in contempt as an unmarried mother. So he decided that he would divorce her quietly with no great fanfare or loud announcement. That is, until an angel of the Lord appeared to him, reassuring him that Mary had not been unfaithful and hers was no ordinary baby. But as he considered these things, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream, saying, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife, for that which is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. Joseph may have felt out of his depth and all at sea, but do not be afraid. God always helps and guides us when we feel the most lost. In the past year and a half, what I would say is that I have become utterly dependent on God leading me in the workplace. God has brought me to a place now where I feel confident and confident because of him and because he is my shepherd and he leads me. There are um, day-to-day decisions such as working out whether or not a child is safe to go home, decisions about how I support a young person who has maybe pushed boundaries in school. But then there's the larger, more strategic um, decision making where I need to make decisions about the direction that I want pastoral care to go in the school that I'm working in. I always turn to Psalm 23, the Lord is my shepherd. I have everything I need. Some days it feels overwhelming. Even in the midst of that being overwhelmed, I feel really privileged, privileged because I really believe that God has placed me there for a purpose and that he is walking alongside me um, as I lead and as I make those decisions.